Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Double clean and decorates with me. This one is going to be Brooklyn's little play area. And as you can see, she already put up some leaves, some little clings, but I am going to clean and straighten everything. And then we're just gonna do it. We're gonna go straight to kind of Halloween decor because she's three and that's what she wants. So that's what we're gonna do for this area. Um, the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go through the bins. I think the princess house is gonna go in the garage just so we have some less items here. But let's get this done. I'll show you guys everything. This is our the play area on our main level. I try to keep it neat and tidy because it's on our main level. Um, the colors are the same, like the grays and the white, like our, like we have in the rest of our house, but I just try to keep it neat and tidy, but let's get started. First thing I'm gonna do guys, I just kind of want to go through everything and just throw away anything that needs to be thrown away. I do this kind of frequently. I don't do a huge clean. Um, I probably do that before Christmas and her birthday, which are five days apart. <laughs> and um, probably after like any major holidays where I know that she's gonna get a bunch of stuff. Maybe after Easter, those those times I do like a big clean. But this time I'm just going through everything. Uh, this is like her little, where she keeps a lot of her art stuff. I'm chucking things that we just don't need, like a paper that she scribbled two lines on and then stuff like that. Um, her little special pictures, I keep those. I keep them in a filing in the garage and yeah. So just going through everything, going, gonna go through all of the drawers um, and everything and pull out anything that we don't need and get rid of it. I'm moving the house into the garage. I know I said that earlier. I just think it'll be too crowded in here with the fall decor. So we'll put it in the garage and she can just bring it in when she wants to play with it. She also has a huge Minnie Mouse house that is in the garage as well. And yeah, so the houses will be stored in the garage for now. Um, these tubs, I'll show you guys in a little bit how I organize all of them. But the top one has kitchen items and then books. Right now, I'm just going through all of her books. I change them out to go with the seasons. So any books that have to do with fall. She was napping, of course, so I didn't get to go upstairs and grab more books. But I wind up doing that later on. So any fall books and Halloween books, I grab those. And I brought those downstairs. And I put them in her little book area. And I rotate those out like I said, to go along with the different seasons and usually when I switch out decor. And if I have any holiday books, so Thanksgiving books, stuff like that, I will include that as well because it is all part of this fall season. This little play system has worked for us very well. That's downstairs, the organizing system. Um, I know a lot of people do like Montessori where they have one or two toys on the shelf. That doesn't really work with our lifestyle, but um, this system has worked really well. And it, even though there's quite a few toys down here, it's actually really easy to clean up. So over on my Instagram, I asked you guys to ask me a few questions. If you are not following me on Instagram, I give you more up to, up to date things on there. So you get to check out what we're doing um, in my family, day to day, all of that kind of fun stuff. 
So if you want to stay more connected with me, in the description box, I will have my Instagram handle and I will also flash across the bottom of the screen. But down on my Instagram, I asked you guys to ask me a few questions and I am going to answer them now. I asked you to ask me anything. So anything was open relationship, anything. But um, one of the questions, and this one was from Marley Blogs. Actually, she is one of my girls. I met her through YouTube and all that kind of stuff, and I absolutely love her. She has a YouTube channel as well. I'll link that down below in my description box, um, and you guys make sure to check out her channel. She has three cute, adorable kids, and she just is killing mom life so she's doing such a good job but check out her channel down below but um, she says what are you looking forward to about fall and I have to say from the months of September to December this is my time people like I just love all of the extracurricular activities that you do I know we are in COVID times but I can't wait to go to a pumpkin patch all of those outdoor things are going to be open so pumpkin patch um, I don't know if the hayride will be open but hay rides I love going apple picking we'll be doing that in a couple of weeks um, we have a lot of fires that are going on right now in California but um, Hopefully things will settle down soon and I'm excited to do apple picking and I'm praying for everybody that is in the path of these fires and if you live in Cali, you know this is prime fire season and it's really, really scary. Um, but yeah, praying for all of those families, but yes, so fall, apple picking, just spending time with our family. We are not going to be doing like trick or treating this year which makes me sad, but um, our family decided that we would do a Halloween party, not a crazy party, so just my kids and then the cousins, my um, brother-in-law and his, his kids. So very, very small, and then like the grandparents, um, but we're gonna get like a Halloween pinata that I picked up from actually Walmart and um, we all have matching pajamas and we're gonna let the kids dress up and get candy. So we're gonna try to make it as fun as possible. So just all of the fun fall activities so are my favorite thing about fall. And then another um, question that I got from CJR Sub, I don't know if I'm saying that correctly, but um, they asked, where are my favorite places to shop for fall decor? And if you follow me at all, you know that I am obsessed with like Hobby Lobby, Target, Home Goods. I like a thrift store or a vintage market. So any of those places, Tractor Supply, are my favorites to shop. Okay guys, we are done. So there is this garland that I got from the Target Dollar Spot this year. I love it because it kind of looks like burlap. But we have that hung up, bats and cats. Let's pan back. On her table, we always do like a little vignette. So we have this book, um, which is from Home Goods this year. I think it was only like $5.99. The tree was from the Target dollar spot this year. That's $5. All of these wood ornaments, which we are going to paint, we'll see. Those are from um, the dollar store. They came in a pack of six for only a dollar. We have this little cauldron that was from the Target dollar spot this year. I think it was like three bucks or so. And then these dollar pumpkins from Target. And then over here we have this trick-or-treat bag from last year, or no, I think it was like two years ago, the Target Dollar Spot. We have that broom. I got that a couple years ago from the Target Dollar Spot, and then her teddy bear she always has out here. And then she always has the fuzzy pillow, um, and I got this, right, um, this pillow right here from the Target Dollar Spot this year, and then the fuzzy pillow, I think it's from like Hobby Lobby, and then the can this little basket which has like her cars in it that is also from Hobby Lobby, I think. Or Michaels, one of those stores. Actually, I think it's from Home Goods. 
And then her table is actually from Amazon and then the chairs. And then her little play kitchen, which I love because I wanted something that was small. Um, this is from Amazon. Her tea towels are from the Target dollar spot this year. And then I love the play kitchen because it actually works. <laughs> and then it came with all those dishes. And then up here, we just have this pumpkin. I believe I got it from CVS last year. And then another one of those dollar pumpkins from Target. And then another Halloween book. All her books will be, are changed out to Halloween and fall. And that is a Halloween book from um, Home Goods. And then over here, these window clings she picked up from Walmart and she loves those. She'll move them all around. And then these two little guys, um, they are from the Target Dollar Spot this year. They were only $3 a piece. But that is it guys. And I will pan back out so you guys can see everything all together. But that is our little setup for this season.